In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 31st, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Texas Rangers vs. Los Angeles Angels The Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Angels will face off in the final game of this four-game series on Sunday afternoon inside of Angel Stadium. The Rangers are sending righty Dane Dunning to pitch and did not factor into the decision last time out against the Seattle Mariners as he gave up two runs on four hits with three walks and five strikeouts in five innings of work. The Angels have young southpaw Reed Detmers getting the start here and defeated the Atlanta Braves last time on the mound as he went five shutout innings and allowed three hits with a pair of walks and six strikeouts. The Rangers are 55 to 113 in their last 168 road games and 16 to 42 in their last 58 in game four of a series. Texas is one to five in their last six Sunday games. Meanwhile, the Angels are 11 to 29 in their last 40 versus a right-handed starter and 7 to 21 in their last 28 at home. The under is eight to three in Los Angeles last 11 in game four of a series. Detmers should do pretty well here. In his last three starts, Detmers has just two earned runs on 10 hits and six walks in 17 total innings. As for Dunning, he's been a little choppy lately but didn't do too badly versus Seattle his last time up. There are a couple of key factors that work in the Angels' favor in the finale of this series. It'll be an interesting matchup but I believe that Detmers and the Angels have a better shot at a win today, so the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick. Looking at the previous seven starts for both pitchers, Dunning has a 4.33 ERI in 35.1 innings while Detmers is pitching to a 2.88 ERI in 34.1 innings. Even as a whole in the last seven days, these pitching staffs have been excellent as Texas is 13th with a 3.83 ERI in their last six games while Los Angeles is second in MLB with a 2.21 ERI in their previous six games. The under is 25 to 10 to two in their last 37 meetings at Angel Stadium. Without Trout in the lineup, up. The Angels have had trouble scoring runs as of late. In Detmer's last seven starts, the Angels have gone to the under four times. The Rangers have surprisingly, despite all the losses, played to the under in five out of Dunning's last eight starts. Look for that trend to continue in this matchup. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. San Diego Padres The San Diego Padres will be going for the series win when they face the Minnesota Twins in the final game of their three-game interleague series on Sunday afternoon. Dylan Bundy, 6-4 and 5.02 ERI, will get the start for the Twins. The Padres will counter with Sean Mania. 5-5 and 4.33 ERI. Minnesota is 7-3 in its last 10 games against San Diego. The Padres have won 6 of their last 10 games and 2 of their last 3 home games. They are playing well offensively, scoring 19 runs in their last 3 games. Expect them to play well offensively in this game because they hit the ball well against right-handers and Bundy has struggled on the mound especially on the road where he has given up 12 runs in his last three games. He gave up five runs in his lone start against the Padres and will have a hard time slowing them down. The Twins have lost four of their last six games and their last three road games. Even though they continue to play well offensively, they will have a hard time scoring in this game because Mania has pitched well at home and has had a lot of success against the Twins going three to one and four starts against them. He gave up one run in his last two starts against the Twins and won't have a hard time slowing them down. So the San Diego Padres money line is our full game side pick. Minnesota was able to win on Saturday to keep a slight edge in the race for the American League Central. San Diego lost on Saturday, but is still sitting in a wild card spot. Minnesota is projected to start Dylan Bundy, who has allowed 12 runs in his last 14.1 innings. For the Padres, Sean Mania has allowed 13 earned runs over his last 19 innings pitched. I'm not 100% back on board with Dylan Bundy even though he's pitched better in recent road starts. On the other side, I've said before and I stand by my opinion that Sean Mania is alongside Blake Snell as the weak link in the Padres starting rotation. And I think this is one of those 6-5 to five kind of games, a game that gets well into double digits. The over has been hitting pretty consistently for both of these teams and I believe that we see another high scoring game here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Chicago Cubs vs. San Francisco Giants The Chicago Cubs and San Francisco Giants put a pretty bow on their ensuing four-game series in Sunday's finale at Oracle Park. A back-and-forth clash is currently ongoing between the struggling National League teams with losing records. Things have been especially tough for the Giants, who came into the series on a seven-game losing streak. We'll see if they can finish strong with Carlos Rodon slated to start at pitcher against Chicago's Adrian Sampson. The Giants have taken two of the three games so far in this series against the Cubs, and they'll look to clinch the series with victory on Sunday night. They have a great chance to do so with their ace heading to the mound in Carlos Rodon who takes on a Cubs team that may be a bit distracted with all the trade rumors swirling around the clubhouse. After coming over to San Fran in the offseason, Rodon has lived up to the hype for the Giants pitching staff. He has an 8-6 record along with a 2.88 XERI and 3.14 XFIP. Although he's had a few hiccups over his last couple of outings where his command has run him into some trouble, nonetheless, he still has an elite arsenal of pitches that allows him to rack up strikeouts, even ranking in the top 10% of pitchers in strikeout rate. Rodon should be able to navigate through this Cubs lineup that has struggled against the Giants starting pitchers throughout this series, and the uncertainty surrounding some of Chicago's key players on the trade market may be affecting their overall performance. The Giants will look to provide Rodon with enough run support against Adrian's Sampson, who is quietly having a solid season for the Cubs. He has a 3.2 ERI across eight games this season and continues to generate plenty of weak contact from opposing lineups. However, he's in store for some regression as evidenced by his 3.81 XERI. Look for the Giants to squeak out a win on the run line behind their ace, so the San Francisco Giants to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Chicago fell just short in their comeback attempt on Saturday night, when they scored three runs in the ninth inning before losing 5-4. to four. Chicago will try to bounce back with Adrian Sampson on the mound, who has allowed seven runs in his last 17.2 innings pitched. For the Giants, Carlos Rodon has allowed 10 runs in his last 11 innings pitched. Rodon and Sampson combined to give up seven runs in their last outings. Rodon will somewhat bounce back from two starts in which he gave up five runs in each one. He will not mow down the Chicago lineup but will much better than his last two starts. Sampson will be okay but give up some runs, like he has in his last two starts. I do not look for a big-time high-scoring game in this one but it won't be a pitcher's dual low-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.